Hey there YouTube, my name is Emmett Baver and I'm with a STEM learning center called Fidgets to Widgets and today I'm going to answer you the question, what is an avatar? Avatar has two meanings. Firstly, from Hinduism, a manifestation of a deity or released soul in bodily form on earth, an incarnate divine teacher. So a vessel for divinity. Then, secondly, an icon or figure representing a particular person in computer games, internet forums, etc. It is a representation that something uses to identify itself. Free-to-play games are, no are notorious for having cosmetic purchasable items. Team Fortress 2, for instance, is a free-to-play game that you can spend lots of money on a silly hat so that your heavy gunner or your demo man looks different from everyone else's. There's also cans of paint so you can color them funny colors and all manner of things. EVE Online has been criticized for making a $60 monocle that you can buy for your avatar. Warframe did something very clever with its narrative recently. The bad guys who captured Warframes in the past, and they took them apart and they didn't make sense. They cut them open and there was nothing like a computer or a heart or a brain. Basically Warframes have no right to move around and be ninjas and walk around like people and use the superpowers that they do. The whole time you're playing as a Warframe, you're attaching bits of armor and you're painting it different colors and you're switching between Warframes and, and customizing those as well. It turns out that your space mom was hiding you and your friends from robots on the moon. Everyone playing Warframe is actually a kid that was orphaned, but not killed by a freak accident involving a spaceship trying to go into slip space. These kids were infused with the energies of the void and began to show signs of supernatural powers. So it turns out that these kids that Space Mom hit on the moon are possessing robot bodies and channeling their superpowers through them. Kids playing video games were the heroes all along. So it turns out that your avatar is actually your avatar's avatar, and that really there was a middleman avatar the whole time that you weren't aware of? Mm. I've made a lot of my own avatars in the past, and I highly recommend it because it's more personalized to you. And I'll show you just some quick examples of my design process so you can see all the iterations I went through to get to the ones that I'm currently using. How would you want to be represented on the internet? Post links to your favorite avatars in the comments below, click the button and stick around, and as always, stay curious. 